Hello, this is Alexander, and in this short demonstration, I will talk about configuration of CA signed certificates on a Cisco Finesse server via voice operating system CLI. So, um, <clears throat> this is actually a continuation of a series of uh, demonstration made by me. Uh, on a certain specific topic, uh, basically a certificates, and I just wanted to show like a procedure that you can follow and to install certificate for a certain purpose. So, in previous video, you can find a procedure how to install certificate on UCC uh, for UCC diagnostic protocol tool. So, uh, here we have my Finesse server version 11 uh, with the in specified in the FQDN format. So, as you can see, when I type the link, I'll type once again like Finesse, you'll see like insecure connection, and you can just go advanced, advanced, and uh, like you can see the certificate. The problem here is that Finesse is using, as you can see, this uh, HSTS or HTTP Strict Transfer Security. So you can't just add uh, the certificate as an exception. So we actually need to uh, install a CA signed certificate here. <clears throat> the process is quite simple. So I will use the commands like here uh, in order to do that. So basically let's start. This is my <coughs> Cisco Finesse server. I've just uh, generated the CA sign certificate for it. So uh, that's why we see this error message or this warning that certificate is not trusted. So let's verify the certificate installed now. So it would be show cert on Tomcat. As I already mentioned, I will be using CLI only, but you can find a lot of documents and videos uh, on how to do that uh, using uh, just uh, web tools. So the benefit of my method is that sometimes you need to install a certificate for non-Tomcat uh, service, for example, call manager certificate, and your Tomcat service might be down and you just might need for some reason to do this manipulation. So you can use CLI for that. So coming back to our topic, as you can see that the issuer name for the certificate that I have and the subject name for it is the same, that they are the same. So it means that this is a self-signed certificate. So what we gonna do is first of all generate CSR. Second, we will uh, generate certificate based on that CSR on our certificate authority. And third, we will install that certificate and restart the service. Another thing before we'll, we will uh, do that, I want to just warning you that uh, take a backup uh, in case you need to store that old certificate that would be over it and now. So let's start. So the first command would be generate self sign certificate. Uh, generate CSR, sorry, so it would be set CSR gen Tomcat. Then we'll display that CSR that was generated. We'll copy it to the notepad file and we'll save it It doesn't really matter how we'll save it, like CSR. 
Athena's CSR. Uh, the next thing would be to go to the certificate authority and just to request a certificate. Advanced certificate request. Paste it and select web server. Download base64 certificate. Save the file. So I'll rename it as Finesse Certificate. Also, what we need to do is we have to go back to the main menu <coughs> and we have to download the CA certificate itself. So downloading that and also I will rename uh, this as a CA certificate and uh, I will keep two of these. So we already passed two steps or two phases. So the very last one remains. So first of all we have to upload CA certificate or root certificate. In my case it is already uploaded so I will verify that. So you can verify that with the command show cert trust or show cert list trust in this way. There are a lot of uh, like publicly signed certificate or uh, certificates of the public certificate authorities that are pre-installed to your browser, to your operating system, like very signed certificate or TWAT certificate or GeoTrust or something like that. But what I'm interested in actually is in this certificate that is my CA root certificate, which is Alevich-DC12-CA. So as you can see, it's here, but I'll just show you how the command works. So basically, you have to type that command, set cert import, uh, then, oh, not this, it's actually this one. So it would be set cert import trust Tomcat. Then you have to go here and open CA with your notepad. Then you have to copy and paste. And in some versions there will be prompts, in some there will not be any prompts. Uh, about successful or unsuccessful upload, but I encourage you to verify that the certificate was uploaded uh, correctly with this command, and you, you you have to find it here. So here, what I have, I have my certificate installed here. So that's good. And the very last step would be to install our certificate of this VNAS server. So the syntax of the command would be set cert import own, then the type of the certificate, which is Tomcat, and then uh, in a syntax of the command, it's mandatory to specify uh, the certificate of the CA that uh, built. Tomcat, Finesse Tomcat certificate that we are about to upload. So I'm pasting that command and what I have to do is I have to again open the certificate, the certificate for Finesse in my notepad and then just paste it. So it takes some time, 
So what I'm doing is again, I like to verify everything that it was uh, uploaded successfully. So you can verify that with the command show cert on Tomcat. On because this is our certificate, certificate that belongs to our service. And here you can see that the subject is finas 11alevichlocal and the issuer is alevich-dc12-ca. So the very last thing that you have to do is, as you can see, it's not working still. You have to restart the service. And uh, usually, it's quite easy. For example, in Call Manager, in CUIC, in Cisco Unity Connection, there is only one, uh, usually, there is uh, one Tomcat service. But for Finesse, there are, for Finesse version 11, there are two services. So you have to restart uh, basically both of these. But for this demonstration, I would restart uh, Cisco Finesse Tomcat because I'm I should be redirected to the uh, Finesse uh, web application. So after this service will uh, be restarted successfully, we will see the page without any certificate warning prompts. So a couple of things I want to mention before the service uh, will restart. First of all, <clears throat> again, take a backup. And second of all, uh, have a backup plan prepared. So let's say that uh, something will go wrong and uh, your certificate would still not work. And it can be, let's say, even if you <clears throat> add an exception, HTTPS for some reason will not work properly or not sure. A lot of things can go wrong, right? So have a backup plan and in this case it would be just to generate a self-signed certificate and add an exception. So Tomcat service is restarting, so let's wait. Okay, so Tomcat, uh, Cisco Finesse Tomcat service has started, so we can go and verify the page. And now, as you can see, I have this green lock that says that this is a secure connection, and it is verified by the CA uh, that uh, my browser trusts. In my previous video, I, uh, in the end of it, I've shown how to uh, upload the CA uh, root certificate to your Firefox browser and how to do that for your uh, Internet Explorer. So I hope this uh, demonstration will be useful for you. Thank you for your time.